it's Mrs. Krikova. Today we are going to talk about the Trinity. Today was Trinity Sunday. So we're going to talk about what that means. It's a little bit hard to understand, but the Bible tells us that there is only one God, but that is made up of three different parts. Do you guys know what they are? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's right. We use a word to describe the three in one. It's called Trinity. And the word Trinity has two parts to it. Tri, which means three. Like on a tricycle, a tricycle has one, two, three wheels. And unity, which means one or being together. It makes sense that we might not be able to completely understand this, but I'm going to show you something that might help you a little bit. All right, so here we have a triangle. The triangle has three different sides. One, two, three. If I cover up one side of the triangle, is it a whole triangle? No, it needs the three sides, right? It's not a triangle if it only has two sides. So just like the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you need to have all three of those to be God is the Father, God is the Son, and God is the Holy Spirit. He's all three of those things. And I have a little craft here to help make the triangle. I have some craft sticks. I printed out this paper on the computer. I found it out on the internet. I bet your mom and dad could find it for you. If not, oops, you can make up your own. And I found another activity that looked pretty easy to do. So there we go. There's our triangle. So this one looks like someone used three craft sticks and then they cut out a heart for the father. They cut out a cross for the son, which is Jesus. And they cut out a hand for the Holy Spirit. Now I have a little song that we can sing. It's called Three in One and it's to the tune of... Um, three blind mice. Are you ready? Three in one, three in one. The Father loves and cares for me. The Son died on the cross for me. The Holy Spirit, he helps me. Three in one. Nice job. Should we do it again? Ready? Three in one, three in one. The Father loves and cares for me. The Son died on the cross for me. The Holy Spirit, he helps me. Three in one. Nice job. All right, now I have a prayer to end. So can everyone fold their hands with me? Dear God, we know that we cannot fully understand how great and wonderful you really are, but we thank you for revealing yourself to us as the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, even though you are still one. Help us to learn more about you and the great love you have for each one of us. We ask this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye, everybody.